Hey guys, this is part two of Memory Dive. I look a lot different in my pod. Wait, is my character actually doing what I did last time? I do remember banging on the windows. Damn it. What's the hold up? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Alright, we're good. Carry on to the next memory then. This room. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's mm -hmm. no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. So that's what my son looks like, huh? Wait, so... Kellogg. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the Coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Wait, that's a simp? Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said nothing. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Glowing C. Well, Dr. Brian. Maybe I should go and look for this dude. For this. Capture and return or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. 
Wait, do you actually know that I'm your dad or do you think someone else is your dad? to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. What the hell? Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Blowing C, we're looking for some sort of doctor now, I guess. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effect the procedure might have had. Anyone has ever done this before? How do you feel? Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough to joke, I think we can safely say that you're out of critical condition. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Who the hell is Virgil? One person knows about the Institute. W Virgil, th that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. Why? Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. That's why he's there. Twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak, a way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Yeah. One thing. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, <laughs> but as a doctor, I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. Dead. D-E-A-D. -E so be sure you find a way to get through there with your life intact. And good luck. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Good. Right. I have a hazmat suit, so that should not be a problem. Okay, glowing sea. That seems like a fun place to go. Valentine? Hey, buddy. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? You want to try for round two? Let's go! What? What are you talking about? On me. Guess that's for you to wonder and for me and Kellogg's memories to know for sure. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. <laughs> There's something wrong with you, Nick. I don't want you with me. I told you I'm fine, but I get it. Going through Kellogg's brain was a doozy for both of us. I'll be in Diamond City when you've had time to cool off. Yeah, I'm... Nick. Time to hit the road? You interested in traveling together? Sure. Could be fun. Let's head out. Well, all right. Hey. Now, there's something bothering you? Yeah. Your thoughts? The Commonwealth's not an easy place to travel. Well, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. Nice to have someone 
and I'll see you in the next episode, where I head towards the glowing sea. Your thoughts? So see you then.